So could you tell us a bit about the stem cell transplantation side of your treatment? Yes, uh, the stem cell side, everybody had told me about it and uh, everybody talked about it, this, this, this big thing. And, and for me, it, it was a, a massive event was coming for me. Uh, you know, the fact that my life could possibly, could possibly at that stage be increased by this wonderful donation of this young man. Right, so the actual uh, process involves going into an isolation unit and uh, that, that's quite humbling in itself because it is what it says and um, yeah, people come in, obviously the nurses and whatever have to come in, but everybody has to have special suits and all that sort of thing. Is, um, and what you have in there is plenty of time to think, right, which is not always a good thing when you're going through that sort of process. So the first 10 days basically uh, involve chemo, strong chemo, to get rid of your own immune system as far as they can. Uh, without you actually dying with, with no immune system. So the, the chemo gets stronger and stronger each day until you, your blood cells get to a position where, they, where you don't have many <laughs> left. Okay. Uh, and then you get your, your, your new cells after 10 days. So I, we had 10 days of chemo, which was, uh, which was terrible. Uh, it was terrible, make no mistake, I couldn't get out of bed, I couldn't do anything for myself. And, uh, you know, the nurses had to come in and we had to worry about infections because even the slightest infection could kill me because I, I just had no immune system. So uh, the poor nurses, it was 24-7 care, you know, everything that was coming out of my body had to be analysed and measured. And it was just uh, sort of degrading in, in, in many ways, you, you know. Uh, I've never experienced anything like that, but I understood why. It was. And then on the day of transplant, this little bag came across, and funnily enough, it came from the Royal Free, so it was relatively local, and it came on a, a motorbike courier. Yeah. And uh, I thought, right, this is the big day, and all the nurses were like, come on, you know, this is the big day. And then in, in walked the nurse with this little bag, and I was like, going, well, is that all it is? <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, yes, <laughs> but this is going to save your life. So they hooked me up to this drip, and, and uh, Physically, it's a strange sensation. You start going warm and, and, and you start feeling a little bit odd, but more than that, it was emotionally. It was I was watching these cells drip into my arm, thinking, right, are these going to be the cells that kill me or are these going to be the cells that, that make me have a bit of a life afterwards, you know, because nothing is, is guaranteed. Mm -hmm. So that time is very an emotional time in there. Uh, you know, I was worried about my, my job, whether I was going to be able to do my job or whether I was, how I could earn any money because I was self-employed and, and what the hell was going to happen. So, and then I analysed it, I thought, blimey, I'm 51, you know, with all this uh, and I can't even walk to the toilet on my own. Who's, who's going to even look at me after this? This is it's terrible. But I got through it, you know, my wife and my family and my friends, phew, the support I've received there was just incredible. And slowly, slowly my counts went up okay. and uh, I got through six weeks of that and uh, then I went home. Uh, but like, that's when life became really difficult, if I'm honest, um, because there were so many things that happened because of my low immune system that made life very difficult. Okay. In terms of, so would you say there needs to be sort of more support for after? Oh, very definitely. Um, the experience in hospital was incredible. I mean, the care that I received was absolutely incredible. You know, my life literally was in their hands uh, and I was in really bad shape when I went in. And uh, I was a whole lot better when I came out. Uh, so the care in the hospital was absolutely wonderful. But it's when you come out of that sort of environment, you know, you've been looked after 24 seven. It was, first of all, it was difficult to get used to that process. <laughs> but once you get used to it, it's then quite difficult to get used to helping yourself and doing, doing things for yourself. And, and there were so many things happening to my body that 
I didn't know whether that was normal for, for me or it wasn't. And my case became so urgent that every five minutes I was back to the hospital because something else was going on. So yeah, the support after, after that process, not just physical support, mind you, but emotionally and uh, you know, I couldn't see how, where I was going with my life, if I was honest, I, I was too weak. I knew I couldn't work, but then what, what did that mean? You know, and, and all the knock-on effects were so difficult. And I'm not a shy guy, and I, and I found it quite hard mm. to find any appropriate support. Yeah.